Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another exciting update in my Project Pan 5 Pan Rolling Style Project Pan for this year. I am so excited because I've hit another empty, so really excited to share that with you today and then select a new product to roll in. I am so excited to continue to be making progress across my collection and be hitting empties on different products. So super excited about that. If you're unfamiliar with this project, real quick, just you know how it works. I selected five products at the beginning of the year and then I work on those until I finish them and then I roll one of them out and roll a new one in. So like I said, I do have an empty today to share with you. But before we get there, let's talk about the products that are still in this project. Starting first with my Oma foundation. I used this 10 times this month and unfortunately I just traveled with it and so you can't see the separation normally where you see it which is like at the very bottom if you see some of my other clips you'll see that it's like a separation at the bottom there is not a ton left in here I'm still able to pump it out and I have not been using a lot I'd say I've been using like a quarter to a half a pump every time I apply this because in the summer I don't like a, like a ton of heavy foundation not saying this is heavy but I like to use a lighter hand with foundation in the summer so I haven't been using a ton but even still like there's very little of this left I think at some point I'm gonna need to start like scraping the sides so I see this one being an empty sooner rather than later which I'm excited about because I had this in a project last year and so it's exciting to see it actually come to fruition and me finishing it and this is a great product this is something that I definitely consider repurchasing so really happy about the progress on this and the 10 uses on it and excited to see where this will go over the next couple months. Next is my L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist Spray. I use this seven times this month and we are at the very bottom of this bottle as you can see. I expect to have this one finished up sooner rather than later as well. I was actually hoping a couple months ago that it would be done this month. That is not the case but I'm thinking in my August update and if not my August update definitely my September update like there's no way this is getting past my September update but I'm hoping that maybe we could get it done by our my August update we'll see like I said I only used it eight times this month I feel like I've just been wearing less makeup in general because we've been on a lot of vacations and I haven't been getting ready on vacations because I'm chasing a toddler around and you know just like relaxing so as a result of that like I haven't been wearing things that I normally wear as much and so this has been getting less usage than it has in the past so that's definitely slowed down my progress. That being said we are still making good progress on it and I think hopefully in the next two months that this will be done as well. So I'm hoping to see some really good progress and some empties on these very soon and I hope that you all stick around to see that as well. Products that are, will not be seeing empties for the next two months are what I'm going to talk about next. So the next one I'm going to talk about is my Beauty Vault Lip Liner in the shade Cozy Kira. This one I used seven times this month and I really enjoy this lip liner but it's just slow moving because it's a lip liner and you know you use it for a while and then you sharpen it and it's just slow progress. But I continue to see this go down. I really like using it. I wear it like pretty much every day before work and then pair it with another lipstick or a gloss on top. So it's just like a super simple look and it gives me color throughout the day because it's a liner. So definitely have been enjoying it for that and happy to have it in this project and being able to continue to make progress on it. It's definitely like a slow and steady type win the race type product and one that I expect will be in this project for the long haul, but that's okay. You need to have those interspersed with ones that, you know, you're making really good fast progress on. So happy to just have this in here, continue to make steady progress on it. And yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. And then I rolled in another liner last month. This is my Avon eyeliner. I only use this five times this month. I am not even wearing it today as I film this. I've just realized like on most days I don't tend to pick for this, which is interesting because I used to always wear liner in my waterline. And so I'm trying to force myself a little bit to wear this more, which, you know, I don't know how I necessarily feel about that because I don't want to make myself wear something I don't want to wear. But also like I really do like how liner looks in my waterline. I just notice like at work especially it smudges a little bit and so then I'm like, eh, that just like seems like another step to be like cleaning up 
makeup at work so then I tend to like not wear it so I don't know I need to think about how the best way to use this but I mean as you can see even with five uses like we're still making progress on this this is so small not a huge update on this one but thinking about ways to incorporate it more into my makeup routine to be able to make further progress on this over the next few months. And now to what I think is the most exciting part of this video and that is my empty. So I hit an empty on my little mini NARS blush. I finally finished this one up completely. There was pretty much just crumbs left at my last update, so it only took me three uses to finally get this one finished. But this one was definitely a labor of love. It's been in my collection for a long time, and I had been using it for a long time prior to this project. As you can see in the clips, like it already had a ton of progress on it. And then I repressed it in this project, and then just continued to see really good progress. And so I'm so excited to have hit an empty on this one and to have an empty blush. I'm just really thrilled. It's been one one that I've really enjoyed using. I've been happy to have it in my collection. I'm also very happy to finally be able to roll it out. Throughout this whole project, throughout this whole year, I used this product 77 times to finally finish it. So definitely got a lot of usage on this one just within this project. And like I said, it's been one that I've really enjoyed using. So happy to have had the chance to use it from start to finish. And also so happy to be able to say, oops, dropped it and also so happy to be able to say goodbye to it and be able to move it into my empties pile. So really excited about that. I hope all of you have enjoyed seeing the progress on this one and cheers to another empty. And now I have to select a new product to roll in. And so I've been debating back and forth on what that product could be. And I think it came to me in one of the last Shop My Stash rotations. And that is a bronzer. So funny enough, I rolled a bronzer into a Shop My Stash rotation, I think a couple months ago, and I didn't have pan on it at all. And I hit pan and then I grew like a pretty large pan on it. And I was like, oh, wow, like this is moving relatively fast, like could definitely be an option for me to pan this year. And so it's actually in my Shop My Stash currently, but I'm going to pull it from that and roll it into my project pan. And it is my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And that is because I have made way more progress on this product than I thought I would. And so I wanna take the time to try and finish it this year. And the best place for me to really finish a product is in my project pan. And so I am so excited to be rolling this one in and getting to count usage on it. So we will see how everything goes and hopefully we make some really good progress on that one. So that is my update for this month in my five pan rolling style project pan. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you in my next video.